Rook's the little gremlin who runs the pawn shop. I've heard that his hard shell is hiding a heart of gold. But if it was, he'd cut it out himself with a rusty soup can. Murphy! Here, let me look at you. Louis told me something terrible has happened. I haven't been worried sick. Well, I appreciate the concern, but other than a weird case of amnesia, I'm fine. Uh, but Louis says you're behaving like a totally different person. Since when do you care about what happens to me? Don't tell me your little Grinch heart has grown three sizes in the last seven years. Oh, Lord. Please don't tell me that lump on your head has turned you back into the uh, pathetic, pestering P.I. I used to know. Uh, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Hold on. Are you telling me the text I turned into was not pathetic and pestering? Those are my secret weapons. Look, Murphy, I'll grant you have some detective skills, but it was all relentless, annoying banter and endless questions to me. I mean, imagine my surprise when, over the past few years, you turned into someone I could actually tolerate. No kidding. So what was it you loved most about the new me? You cut out all the chit-chat and became a no-nonsense customer who pays in cash. You always seem to have plenty of cash. Hey, you sound like my ex-wife. How'd I end up with so much cash? Well, how should I know? I mean, if I'd asked you that two days ago, you would have punched me in the face. Well, I'd be more than happy to do it now, if it'd help. Oh, very funny. I'll admit, Murphy, you do have a certain charm. It makes my skin crawl. <laughs> okay, I'll cut the chit-chat. Just tell me where I come up with all this cash. All my transactions are done in strictest confidence. That hasn't changed. I'm having a few rough days here, Rook. All I'm trying to do is get my memory back. I could use a little help. Fine. Though I don't know anything that could possibly explain what's happened to you. Uh, believe me, I tell you if I did. Uh, now I suppose this is where you ask if I mind answering a few questions. But this is not for old time's sake. You became a sullen, short-tempered bully. And I miss that. Desperately. I heard a commotion and saw a crazed man running willy-nilly down the street and two other men in pursuit. I was hoping they would tear that blop house down, and they would have too if it weren't for that meddling Clint. Such an upbeat, chipper little man, utterly obnoxious. I went there once, never again. What with that herbal tea and incense, it's a veritable gas chamber. Ugh. I knew she'd get nothing but trouble being with you. Louis' niece is an absolute delight. What she sees in you is an absolute mystery. A prince among men. Makes me wish I could still eat solid food. Years ago, after Chelsea disappeared, you came to me looking for leads to some valuable items, among them a, um, a lost Fabergé egg. You left the street for a long time. When you returned to Chandler Avenue, you seemed like a different person, uh, darker, uh, more dangerous. I understand you have a thing for holograms. Maybe she's just your type. I'm sure you know much more about that than I. Some say you know exactly what happened. That's the man you think was abducted? The one I saw being chased down the street? 
I never heard his name before you told me. What is that? Maldonado? Ah, uh, he puts the P.I. in pig. I heard you two had something of a rivalry going on. Uh, next question. Now that Rooks is open, I'll bet his back gate's open too. Behind Rook's pawn shop is a dirty, ugly alcove that reminds me a lot of Rook himself. Oh, I remember the day I came back to my office to that grisly sight. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. Police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant. And it was like they couldn't care less. I guess people are a little apprehensive about taking that bottle back for deposit. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. <laughs> No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. What's this? This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. This door's just painted on. I knew there was something creepy in there. Yeah, the city of old San Francisco picks up the traffic once a year. I think we're getting close to our date. Yeah, I used to come back here and shoot hoops until I threw my back out. Ten seconds left. Down by one. Murphy has the ball. He fakes. He drives. It's a 360. He's fouled. Or was it my front? <laughs> I could do with an anvil, but it might be useful. Why would a little gremlin like Rook have a basketball hoop? Ah, oh, yes. Llama Claus would bring packs of cigarettes to all the good children around the world. Ah, uh, it's Rook's hydropod garden. Whenever I see this, I think of Gordon Fitzpatrick from my Pandora case. We've got to get this ship as far as possible from the planet Earth in that little time. You know how to fly. I know. I know. And you know what even works. I know how to fly. My, my, my father, a long time ago. Listen to me now. Follow me. This is important. My mother is an American woman in Nebraska. But my father's DNA is in me. I know how to fly this ship. He wasn't from around here or even from the solar system. I'll need to find a computer whiz to break the encryption on this memory stick. Nice to meet you, Maldonado. Too bad this zipline trolley is broken. It's missing a wheel. That's a small wheel. I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Zipline trolley's repaired. Now I need to find the perfect place to zipline. Lord knows what I could do with an anvil, but it might be useful.
Rumor is Zach Williams, owner of the electronics shop, is tied to organized crime. Oh, we've had our problems in the past. For example, the last time I was here, he shot my credit card into a million pieces. I'm hoping he's in a little better humor today and doesn't blow my brains out, or even worse. Okay, I don't want any trouble. Well, just so I'm clear, what kind of trouble are you not wanting? Everyone knows what happens to people who get on your bad side. Only one reason you ever come in here, and it ain't to buy anything. You know all our stuff is junk. Is that the new electronic shop slogan? I mean, it's no wonder you're not getting any new business. Why are you busting my chops? You know what kind of business we're running here. Are you saying this is some sort of front for organized crime? Because that sounds illegal. Look, the guys upstairs don't want any trouble either. They said you can have whatever you want at cost. You can even put it on credit. Then I'll just tear up the bill. No, I'm talking about literally upstairs. Upstairs. Look, I know how much you hated Maldonado, and I probably shouldn't have let him use the second floor. But he was paying cash, and he kept a low profile. So I thought it was all good. I didn't know what he was doing up there, and I didn't want to know. So how about you answer a few questions for me, and maybe things will end up a little better for you than they did for, say, Carlos? You the man, okay? We good? Look, I told the cops I wasn't here, which is technically true. I just parked out back when I heard the gunshots. So I just started the engine right back up and got the hell out. You live there, so I'm not going to say a thing about it. That place opened up a couple of months ago. Doesn't look like my kind of joint. I do love Louie's cooking up. Just don't ask what's in it and you'll be fine. All I know is, you ain't the same guy that came slinking in here seven years ago. Sorry to hear about that. Is that what turned you into Mr. Badass? I think he's the one who came by to check in on Maldonado. Must have been a client. Don't know anything else about him. I sell items to customers, not purchase them. Sure, Maldonado was a creep, but his money spent just the same. He said he needed to do a stake out of the Ritz. Didn't mention any specific names. Didn't sound like a big deal, and he was offering a good chunk of change. Let's just leave me out of this, okay? closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. Heck, Malden. That buffoon always got credit for cases I solved. Problem with vid phones is you can't call anyone from the bathroom anymore. Well, you shouldn't. Time to get a new clock. If a bell is on the front desk, I get... As I ring the bell, I expect Nilo, but another familiar face pops up from behind the counter. It's Clint. Looks like he's dabbled in some home plastic surgery to cover his empty eye socket. It's amazing what you can do with a tire patch, spray paint, and crazy glue. Ah, Mr. Murphy. Will you be needing some housekeeping done? I can't remember the last time we saw you around here. Clint? You work here now? Oh, I guess you wouldn't remember. I heard about your blackout. I used to have those. But they were more brownouts, you know. My old chocolate addiction. So, 
What are you doing behind the desk? Looking for Nilo's complimentary chocolates? You mean the ones you used to leave on the pillow, right? Those weren't chocolates, my friend. Man, I hope you didn't eat them. No. <laughs> Nilo, man, I haven't heard that name in years. Not since I bought this place from him. The city was gonna condemn it, but Nilo didn't feel like fixing it up, so he sold it real cheap. Where did Nilo end up? You mean Nelly? He got a sex change. Yeah, I don't know. He tried to pass himself off as his long-lost twin sister for a while, but that didn't fly. Well, you've done a bang-up job. You got rid of the smell. What was that, anyway? <laughs> you do not want to know. God, I wish I could get amnesia for that memory. But on the bright side, we've exterminated most of the roaches and reinforced the foundation after the big quake last year and finally got real fire extinguishers so no more painted-on safety features. We're up to a three-star cubic zirconia rating in the Mutant Leisure blog spot now. Well, with such deluxe accommodations, I'm surprised I'd stay anywhere else. Do you know where I stay when I'm not here? Nope. You pay me well to keep an extra eye on your apartment and my nose out of your business. So I'm not behind on my rent? Maybe I should get amnesia more often. You're paid through the end of the year, just like every year. You're hardly ever here these days, but hey, let me get my nose out of your business. That sounded disgusting. Let's change the subject. What can I do for you? You keep being my best tenant, and I'll be your biggest fan. Deal? <laughs> the cops came by to ask me about that, but I wasn't here at the time. This may not be much, but it's mine, and I love it. Just get the holes patched before you move out, or I will keep your security deposit. Nice guy, but he's got some screws loose. Dumbest name ever for a shop. Look, I know I used to joke with you about Chelsea being in love with me, but that was just my jealousy talk. That's Louie's niece, right? Tall, brunette. Oh. I've got to steer clear of his diner. Too many chocolate memories. Look. I've had my own problems, as you know. I was in a kind of a dark place seven years ago. Dark, bitter, sometimes nuts, raisins. God help me, marshmallows. Nice girl for circuits and chips. We don't need to talk about that, do we? That was a real tragedy. I can't help you with that. I can barely work a toaster. Maldonado, nothing but trouble. I steer clear of that hombre. <laughs> that little gremlin's never forgiven me for stealing his newspapers and using them for blankets. That guy's all mobbed up, so I keep my distance. Me? I'm just living the dream. One chocolate-free day at a time. Sapphire, eh? That sounds like a fun new neighbor. Well, this is a flashy new neighbor. I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. Yeah, needs a key. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. Yeah, needs a key. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Yeah, needs a key. I don't know what I was thinking. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found.
It's the three cards to midnight shop. Archie helped me out on my Pandora directive case where we met a charming fellow named Jackson Cross. I'm gonna do you the favor of a lifetime. I'm gonna let you walk. But if I catch you meddling in NSA affairs one more time, I'm gonna put a bullet right in your eyeball, is that clear? Get this puke head out of my office. I'll be watching you, Murphy. <laughs>